Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got to run the Damian Lillard conversation back. Obviously, Damian Lillard was the talking point Tuesday night, all of Wednesday after his incredible 61-point performance to lead the Portland Trail Blazers over the Dallas Mavericks. I want to show more of Damian Lillard's highlights again in a second, but I want to start this off. Before we show you some highlights from Dame, I want to introduce you to a conversation that I am having behind the scenes with some of my basketball peers, and I saw it going viral on Twitter. I saw Kyrie Irving trending, and usually when I see Kyrie Irving trending, when he's not playing basketball, I'm like, that's probably not a good thing. Uh, but this time around, it was a good old basketball debate after Damian Lillard's stellar performance. The conversation on social media was, is Damian Lillard now better than Kyrie Irving? I saw that and I was kind of like, wait, wait, y'all don't think Damian Lillard's already surpassed Kyrie Irving? I thought that was like a done deal. I thought after Kyrie's first season in Boston, I thought it was obvious to everyone that he had regressed. His body has uh, been unable to stay healthy. Kyrie Irving as a leader has been inept at best. I mean, I mean, look at the Boston Celtics this year. Look at... Look at the teams that Kyrie Irving has left. Look at his presence in the locker room. By the way, LeBron still got to the finals the year after Kyrie Irving left. He didn't win it, but he still was able to get to the finals without the services of Kyrie Irving. I'm looking around, and people saying Kyrie's not better than Dame. I don't get it. So one of my friends say, yo, Kyrie Irving, he was a great guard on that Cavalier team that won a championship. And I was like, you're right. He was a great number two. You know, say what you want about Damian Lillard throughout his career. He's, after like the first year or two with LaMarcus Aldridge in Portland, that's been Dame's team. I don't like the conversations of comparing a clear number two versus a clear number one. There's a reason why Kyrie Irving didn't go to Brooklyn by himself. You want to know the honest truth behind it? Brooklyn didn't want Kyrie by himself. They actually didn't love the idea of Kyrie Irving altogether, but it comes with the consolation prize of Kevin Durant. Whenever he gets healthy. I thought it was clear as day that Kyrie Irving can't be the one on the championship contender team. He's a really great two. Damian Lillard is a better basketball player than Kyrie Irving overall. And let me be clear. If we're talking ball handling, Kyrie has the edge. Even clutch. I'll even give Kyrie Irving the consistent clutch gene, right? And Damian Lillard has made two of the biggest shots in the last decade. One to eliminate the Houston Rockets. And then, obviously, one last postseason to eliminate the Oklahoma City Thunder. But I'll even still give Kyrie Irving the clutch gene because I do have to acknowledge that that brother made a shot to give the Cavaliers the lead in Game 7 of the NBA Finals. And more times than not, he delivers in clutch situations in the regular season as well. So I'll even still give Kyrie Irving the edge there. But everything else... I'm rolling with Damian Lillard. I think they're about even from a passing standpoint. Neither of these guys are looking to, to light you up with 10 assists a game. Damian Lillard is obviously the better shooter. I think Damian Lillard is better at getting to his spot on the court. He has mastered that step back. That pullback three-pointer is unguardable. And I think that's why Damian Lillard has uh, been able to enter that top five, top seven in the NBA and score in year in, year out. Because you, if you if you push up on him, he can still get to the rim because he's getting to his spots or the mid-range game is on fleek. If you leave him open at that three-point line, he's deadly. He ain't Steph Curry, but he's probably right under Steph. And his range is deep. It's Steph Curry level deep. It's the, I mean, You know what I mean? Like, and Damian Lillard's obviously a better leader. I think guys respond to Damian Lillard a lot better than they do Kyrie Evan for the simple fact of Damian Lillard ain't never tried to switch teams. He ain't went two weeks without talking to his teammates in the playoffs, and to the best of my knowledge. He ain't never demanded a trade out of uh, Cleveland after he told Cleveland that he wanted to be there long term. He ain't never demanded a trade out of Boston after he told the, that same Celtics group in a pep rally before the season that he would love to be in Boston long term if they'd have you. He ain't never called out his teammates uh, for... And, and said he apologized to LeBron because now he gets it. He ain't never went to Brooklyn, got injured, and, and called out his teammates in his second game returning. Dame ain't never did that stuff. That's why I believe he's respected as a leader in that Portland Trailblazers locker room. So if we're talking leadership, I don't even think that one's close. 
Dame somewhere up here and Kyrie somewhere down there. I think the proper conversations for a guy like Damian Lillard at this point in his career is, is he the best point guard in the NBA? If you're, if you're saying Luka Doncic is a point guard, though he's the size of a three, but he's usually on ball for the Mavs, and if you're saying Steph Curry still deserves that respect and credence, because I do believe because of his championships, all three of them, and his two unanimous MVPs, I believe that gives you a, a year or so of not being at your best, right? Like, I, that's why I'm not too harsh on Kevin Durant. That's why he's still top four to me in the world, because he's won two finals MVPs. He's won a regular season MVP, scoring titles out the ram. He's earned a year or so to be to get his body right. Steph Curry, say what you want about him. Two unanimous, well, one unanimous MVP, two back-to-back -back MVPs, and three championships. Simple as that. He's earned the right to have one bad year, one injured year. So I'm not going to put Dame over Steph. Are either of these guys great defensively? No. I respect Dame a lot more than I do Steph because Dame's never hiding on defense like a Steph Curry will. Steph, look, if he sees a, if he sees a point guard out there, a Russell Westbrook, a Chris Paul, or any of these elite guards that we got in the NBA, Steph ain't even trying. He's like, Steve Kerr, hide me. Hide me. I respect Damian Lillard for at least going out there and trying to guard the other elite guards in the NBA. Is he great at it? No. But he don't back down. But because Steph has done it for the last decade, and be clear, no Kevin Durant last year, Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors defeated Damian Lillard and the Portland Trail Blazers. Obviously, no, no use of Nurkic was there. But still. You know, Steph ain't never backed down in his matchups against Damian Lillard. Steph has actually gotten the better of his matchups with Damian Lillard even before they got KD. So I'll still give Steph the slight edge over Dame. But other than that, I don't know if I could put any other guard over, over Dame right now in that type of conversation. Luka, he ain't playing no defense, though I do believe in two years Luka will be probably the best point guard in the league. And when we're talking about the Chris Pauls of the world, I love his game. He's still top 15 for me, top 17 for me. Uh, Dame's just, this is Dame's time. Russell Westbrook, I think that conversation is closed after Damian Lillard did him dirty last year in the first round of the playoffs. So now, with all that being said, let's watch Damian Lillard's, because I want to celebrate the guys that are doing great things. We talk about the negative so much in media. Let's celebrate somebody who went and balled out. Can we play back this 61 uh, point performance versus the Mavs on Tuesday from Dame and enjoy this one as a collective, as a family? I think we can. Let's get into it. Blazers have played yeah, Dame well came in out the, the game, gate like, yo, I got to get as many points as needed to win this basketball game. I would love if CJ could give me 30, but I ain't counting on, on it no more. Will Melo be on? He's been so. really good as of late, but I can't count on it. Out. Gary Trent has been All good in the, the bubble, NBA but I can't count on it. Yusuf Nurk is still battling back, though he's been good so far, just relatively speaking, only being back a couple games after Little surgery. I ain't counting on Yusuf either. When in doubt, I'm counting on myself. I'm banking on my work ethic. I'm banking on what I put in the gym. Look at that crazy shot from Damian, Damian Lillard. As the Portland Trail Blazers trail early, second quarter they go up, and a large part because of Damian Lillard for three. Oh my goodness. You know, like I said, Dame gets to his spot as good as anyone. The thing is, I mean, Damian Lillard's spot on the court are becoming more and more everywhere. Like his, if we had the chart for his hot spots, I mean, Lillard? yo, anywhere on that perimeter is damn near a hot spot oh, for Dame nowadays. Lillard and look at him. Look, what I saw Damian Lillard do Here's to Lillard Porzingis in this game was disrespectful, and Damian Lillard should be arrested for assault. It's Pick and roll down. all night with whoever Porzingis was guarding. Extended look at this. For his own Porzingis out Lillard there. Fades yep. away and connects. His legs too long and too yeah. slow. Anyone Porzingis was guarding, Damian Lillard took advantage of it. And by the way, let me be clear. I've been very critical in years past of Damian Lillard. I have. Um, I'm done with that now. This brother's game has evolved. You can't talk bad about him. He's top 10 now. Paul uh, Christophs Porzingis. Uh, I'm sorry, there's nothing you can do with that. I was about to say Paul George talking mess to Damian Lillard. I don't respect it. You a number two, maybe even a number three when Lou Will got it going on your team. You can't be talking to a number one. Look at Damian Lillard exposing Porzingis. 
Recall I had to take Porzingis out the game at one point. And by the way, Porzingis had a 30-plus point game in this one. But Dame's got it going in the third quarter. I mean, he just cooked up. We about to see three straight threes. You just saw the first one. Off the rebound. Yusuf Nurkic's like, I know what to do with it. Let me give it to CJ, who's going to give it to Dame. Dame pulling again. Back-to-back -back threes from Portland's own Damian Lillard. At this point in the game, I thought Portland was about to get away from, from Dallas. And be clear, Dallas was wow. fighting for something in this game. If they, if they won out, they would have avoided playing the Clippers in the first round, potentially, and had the Nuggets uh, as Damian Lillard drills back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back threes. They take Dame out at the end of the third, Terry Stocks would, and Portland would actually get down. So you got to bring Dame back. And like I said, you, you put Porzingis in that pick and roll. It was barbecue chicken all night. Anyone he was guarding. Look, Dame going right at Porzingis again. Again. We're tied at 119 with 413 to go. Man, oh my goodness. He exposed Porzingis. Porzingis, I know he's a big fella. And Dirk was never good defensively for the Mavs. His feet got to move a tad bit quicker than that, though. Because, I mean, that's just unplayable. He's too good offensively to be unplayable because of his poor defense. Damian Lillard at the free throw line is good, by the way. After missing two free throws against the Clippers, that would have gave Paul in the lead and potentially put them in the driver's seat a couple games ago. He's only missed one free throw since then as Damian Lillard ties his game up at 124. Lillard. The Trailblazers are down three. You gonna bring a double at Dame? I'm gonna shoot it before you get there. And because I'm so hot and I'm bodying it in the bubble, I get those to go too. From the from the T, the first T in the Black Lives Matter logo, Damian Lillard ties this game up at 130, ladies and gentlemen. 61 points, and most importantly, a dub for Damian Lillard as the Portland Trailblazers beat the Dallas Mavericks. Look, I'm going to be 100% real with you guys. That's what y'all paid me for. I know um, I'm not ready to say this yet. I'm not ready to say this yet. Damian Lillard put on a show in the first round against the OKC Thunder last year. And out of respect for what he did to Russell Westbrook, because it was incredible. I mean, him and Russ were jarring at each other every game in that series. And Dame was destroying him. Uh, because I remember those that series that wasn't too long. I'm going to say... What Damon's did in the bubble in Orlando is my second best stretch from Damian Lillard. And remember, he got hot in the regular season this year. He just got crazy hot. But I'm going to leave that at third because what he's did in the bubble has been so impressive. The Portland Trailblazers now take the half game lead over the Memphis Grizzlies in the fight for eighth out west. You know, right now, the Portland Trailblazers only got to win one game to get to that first round matchup with the Lakers. And because of that guy, Damian Lillard, a lot of people out there, including self, believe the Lakers, my Lakers, have their hands fooled with Weber State on Damian Lillard. Y'all let me know in the comment box below after seeing what you just saw and hearing what you just heard. Where does Damian Lillard rank on your top point guards in the NBA? I have him right behind Steph as of right now. I have to be honest. And I know there's a lot of people who believe Russell Westbrook is better than Steph Curry. I get that. But I can't do that. Because Damian Lillard is better than Russell Westbrook. I don't think anybody's, I don't, that's not a debate right after last year, right? That conversation is dead for me. It's dead for me. So let me know where Damian Lillard ranks on your top point guards in the league. I'm out.